Sailing in South Africa is not considered one of the biggest sport, but as a country, a sailing team qualified and participated in the 2012 London Games. Now, these two gentlemen work very hard and never rest as they aim to better their results at the next Olympic Games. The South African sailing team comprises of two sailors from completely contrasting backgrounds. Roger Hudson from a middle-class background who started sailing when he was young and comes from a family of sailors, teamed up with Asanati Jim, a youngster from the Eastern Cape, who relocated to Cape Town and lives in an informal settlement. His love for sailing inspired him to reach for his Olympic dream, and this came true when he attended the London Olympics along with his teammate in 2012. I come from a sailing family. Uh, my father was a sailor and he sailed at the 92 Olympics in Barcelona. And uh, naturally when you come from a family of sailors you tend to, to grow up in the environment. And uh, I've, I was at yacht clubs from a young age, uh, probably five or six years old, and uh, began competing uh, at, uh, actually at Sikufle Yacht Club in Cape Town uh, around the age of eight. And uh, things go on from there as you, as you progress and qualify for the junior teams uh, at a provincial level and then at a national level and, and so on and you build up your, your career. I, I grew up in, in Eastern Cape in Port Beaufort and um, when, I was, when I was 10 in 2002 I came, up, I came to Cape Town to visit my mom for school holidays in June. And um, when I got here the, my, the guys, my friends were sailing and um, I got an opportunity to come down and, and, and sell for while I was in, in the school holidays. And um, from day one, that's, that's when I, I loved it. And um, I, I had a chat with my mom to come stay over with her the, ne the following year, which is in 2003 when I was 11. And from there, from, 2000 and, from end of 2002, I, I'm, I'm, I relocated to Red Hill. The sailing duo were only teamed up two years before the Olympic Games. They worked on qualifying and increased their world rankings to eventually qualify and be one of three African teams represented in London. We always knew that with London 2012, if we could make it into the qualification, which of all the hundreds of sailors in the Olympic categories um, at the World Championship events and that sort of thing, you only have 27 at the Olympics in, in our category. So getting into that 27 was, was our task for London 2012. And once we had accomplished that by finishing in the gold fleet uh, at, the, at the World Championship we were, at Barcelona. We were very, very happy that we'd achieved our goal for the 2012 cycle and we were in the games. And I think a lot of people, a lot of teams go to the games feeling a lot of pressure to, to put in their, 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 the performance that defines their entire career. For us, fortunately, this time around, it, we, we weren't under that sort of pressure. We were very, very pleased to have qualified and very happy to be there. But uh, London 2012 was about, uh, was, was about qualifying and about being in that field. Of course, for Rio 2016 and the future Olympics, we're looking to, to increase the performance significantly. And therefore, at the Olympics itself, we expect to be under a lot more pressure to perform in four years' time. Since I became a serious sailor when, when I decided this is what I want to do in, la in future, and uh, we, we, at the school we had someone who's been sailing for, who's been, who did three Olympics, the guy was, Ian Ainsley who started the sailing school. And um, we all, we're all looking up to him and we always had this dream of going to the Olympics. And uh, when, when, when my teammate and I decided that we, we were taking this opportunity, that's when I thought, I'm gonna give it all I have because it's been always my dream to get to the games and do well. But I, I knew that I wasn't I wasn't gonna do well, that well. Been, As Roger game. said, it's been there for the experience and and got to learn and race and race the top guys in the world. It was um, quite a joy for me and my family because I, after because they always kept asking me like why am I doing this and I, I, I pointed out all the dreams that, that I have about sailing and the passion I have I have for it and. Um, when I, when I mentioned that we qualified on a Saturday after the, after the event that we qualified for the Games, which we, we and the, my mom was so happy and, and she spread the word around and it was a really fun moment for, for me and my teammate and everyone else who has been supporting us. This sailing partnership has great potential and with the Race Ahead program started up by Roger and his father, more youngsters from disadvantaged backgrounds can benefit from this sport, just like Asanati. Asenati undenze bomin bam. Tibe inde kwindo yonge we bomin bam oko kata. Oko esbi ni kwindo yonge kuseilingi. 
indenze umuntu kwa senati asenati umdana all right kum and ku sailing uya undi inbonise into kum benji ngaya zimna and as Ang and Diane's Abazal Bam, as an Atin Diane's Akum, Sang and Diane's Abam Abazal. We enjoy on Gekum. They have we are in Diane's Wang as an Atin, the Vuil and Dubana Olympic, and they have we are in Dubana Abon Amazon as Ang and our Bonamna. The family. It's a complete commitment from Asanadi's side to develop the skills that he has and to broaden them out. And he can see, uh, I think he's beginning to see what we think his real potential is. From Roger's side, um, the chemistry between them is excellent. Under the high pressure of international racing, many of the teams just distract, they blow apart. And particularly after the games or after a qualification series. The extraordinary thing for me is over the two years that they've been full-time on the international circuit, they've ended up, came out of the games closer than ever. And that's a very, that's a very positive outcome. It's not, uh, it's not the norm at all. But uh, from Roger's side, it's a commitment to help develop this young guy that, that he really believes in. For us, it's, it's, for us, it's too much pressure because we know that we've got a lot of, lot of things to catch up on to get to, onto, onto the level we, we want to be, to compete for what we want to compete for. So we, every, day, every, every time we do something, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. Not, no one else is putting the pressure. So there is a lot of pressure on us. Now, we, now that we've done the first games, to get experience, to gather the experience and, and knowing what to do. So now I think it's... The next games is about going out there and, and do what you can do, what you've learned and, and just do what's possible. The success seen by Roger and Asignati in just two years as a team is commendable. This team has great potential, especially with the hard work and dedication that they do for their sport. They have four years to increase their world rankings from the current 27th.